Hello everyone and welcome to Inside the Ring. Today's a very special edition because there's a lot of news concerning CM Punk quitting the WWE. I'm of course Zendar and I'm here with my pal, the Humanoid Freak. You can uh, view his channel at, uh, at, I believe it's the Humanoid Freak. I believe is that just what it's called? Your channel? Your YouTube channel? Humanoid Freak or the Freak. Yeah, Humanoid Freak Show. Okay. Humanoid Freak, just my name. He's got a really good channel. You should check it out, subscribe to him, do all that fun stuff. So let's let's get started here. So there's a lot of news um, coming out of the woodworks today that on Monday night, CM Punk basically told Vince to shove it, and he rage quit out of the WWE. Um, really, uh, do you think this is actually legit? Because you know how CM Punk is all the time. Yeah, He's I don't done know. This before. I don't know. There was actually, uh, I saw a video of him talking at a recent convention, um, just like a few days ago, and he brought up a few facts that he was frustrated with. And on the WWE's website, they've also already removed him from um, the live events. And rumor has it, WWE will be making an official press release about it in 24 to 48 hours. So. You know, it could be a storyline, though, because some people they fired were storyline-based. Yeah, it, it's true. It's true. It could be. But right now, it, it really, if if it's, if it's it is, they're doing a really good job of hiding it. Um, so. I'll give you an example, because, like, think of, like, the whole Matt Hardy situation. I seriously true. think that was one major big storyline. That's true. Just think about it this way. When but, the day his contract expired, like... 90-day no-compete clause. The day that the contract ended was the day he showed up on Raw that one time and beat the shit out of Edge in the back. It, it's true. It's true. Like, a lot of things could happen. Like, I mean, it could be true, and WWE is, like, trying to, like, sort it out with him. It's, it's, yeah. It's kind of hard to say. But let's let's look at a couple of the facts, though. Um, one of the reasons he was uh, leaving was because he was very upset with Batista, winning the Royal Rumble. And he's not alone Which in that is, fact. Because yeah. you got a... Bullshit, man. Exactly. You got a guy who's been away, what, like four years? Four and then years. walks in the door and wins the Rumble, gets an instant, like, like, WrestleMania title match. Like, he's in the main event at WrestleMania. Thing, we know what it was expected for him to win, but still, it's bullshit to begin with. Well, he's yeah. Been gone for four years. Yeah. I know, and people had the like, hope that, like, yeah, it's expected, but people had the hope that it wasn't actually going to happen. So Yeah, but like think about this, like Batista coming back on his very first match. Why would he lose his very first match? It's true, it's true, but still it's the rumble and like you got so many people that have worked their ass off this past year and they're just overlooked because you have a guy returning who's been away for four years. Case in point, Daniel Bryan. Look at how over I'm he is right him. now. I call him Brian Danielson. I don't like to I, call him by his slave name. I, I American call, Dragon all the way. I, I call him by his WWE name. Just easier that way. Um, and and CM Punk did work really hard as well. I believe they should be in the title pitcher. At this point, even John Cena would look better in the title pitcher than Batista. I am tired of seeing much? Cena in the title pitcher because he's always in the title pitcher. But this time, like he makes more sense than Batista. As much as I don't like Cena at all, and I hate his character with a passion. Not the man, because I respect the man, because he's done those Make-A-Wish foundations, and he's good with kids and shit. But his character just pisses me off to no degree, and he's super Cena, winning left and right. But yeah, it would make sense for him to win the Rumble instead, because he has been there for, like, what, six years now? It has yeah, the left? Well, he I has know. left for surgery and all. It, they it, keep well, coming back all the time. I know, and, well, look at Daniel Bryan, like... Or, well, as you call him, Brian Danielson. But look at all the work he's done this year. Like, he was in, like, the Team Hell No. Uh, he was really strong in that. And then they did the whole Weak Link storyline with him. And then he single-handedly starts taking out the Shield. You have the whole, like, the whole WWE chanting his Yes chant. Like... Wait, it, hold on. I'll be honest with you. I haven't watched much of Raw or SmackDown because I stopped watching it ever since Michael Cole turned heel. Yeah, I couldn't stand him as a character, so I've been reading here and there what's been going on. Yeah, you still know what's going on, and yeah, like Daniel Bryan is over as hell. Have you seen the crowd in the steel cage match? Like 
when he's going yes and people are just losing their shit. The whole the arena yes, yes, is yes. in sync with their with the yes chant when he does it. Like and they go crazy. You know I have not seen that big a pop since the Rock Stone Cold era where like people just lose their mind towards them. It's even true. If, like what? The re- the DX version was X Pac and the New Age Outlaws, even they got massive pops. Yeah. Yeah. Um, another example of the pop of this was was when uh, Dolph Ziggler finally cashed in his money in the bank. There was a huge pop when that happened. And but this happens every single night. And so which means People pay to see this guy, which means people would pay to see him in the title picture at WrestleMania. So there's the money is, in that. The what? thing is, Dolph Ziggler ran his mouth and just basically said what was on his mind. And you know, in the, the WWE, if you speak your mind, unlike CM Punk, you're in the doghouse. It, it's Vince true. doesn't like that. It's true. Unlike well, CM Vin, Punk, who does not give a Vince shit. Vince doesn't like small guys wants. either, so... He gets a hard on for big guys because look at how long the great Kali has been there. Right. Doing absolutely nothing. God, that was even like Although a like joke in the Bobby Rumble. Playboy joke. God. What now? That was a joke when he was in the Rumble. Anyways. He's in there all the time because you need the big guy to be in there. It, it, it's the true. Time. It's true. So. It's the same thing as Survivor Series where you need the, you need, you need the big guy to be the fall guy because you yeah. know he's going to be the fall guy. Exactly. So. Moving on now, another reason why CM Punk was frustrated and rage quit was he found out that he was going to face Triple H in at well at WrestleMania, and he didn't like that fact. He felt that it was against his character because of everything he's been building up for this past year, only to be told, you're facing Triple H, you're not in any of the title matches or any big storyline than that, you get to face Triple H. So now the question no, is... Is he being you know, selfish, this? Triple H. But is he you being know, selfish, H is though? Kind of bury him. Not really, because going against Triple H, because Triple H doesn't wrestle as much, you know he's going to get buried, because Triple H does that to people all the it's, time. It's true. It's true. I mean, there's even... Raw Van Dam a couple years ago. Yeah, and there's even Barry gifts about Triple H. You know, people expect him to be buried all the time. So, yeah. but like, you know, I can, I can see Punk not in the title picture. Uh, like, he, yes, he did do well over this past year, but Daniel Bryan deserves it more than him at this point. Like, I'm, yeah, it's nothing maybe. against him, not saying he didn't work hard enough. The crowd is way more behind Daniel Bryan right now than they were CM Punk. Like, last year? Oh, they love CM Punk. Well, actually, not last, last year he was heel. Year before that, when he faced uh, Chris Jericho, that was like, the whole crowd was behind him. But then, yeah. CM and then Punk the next year after that, he time. goes on and faces the Undertaker after he had his longest title reign of the modern era, and they got to face the Undertaker. That's it was a big like deal. A year and how long was his reign? A year and two I, months. I, three? I I can't remember the exact. There's I can't remember the exact dates, but um, yeah. And then he goes on and faces the Undertaker, which is a big deal. No one just you don't just get handed an Undertaker match. You pretty much have to earn it. It's almost like a title match. That you're pretty much guaranteed to lose. Are you talking about a? Are you talking about a WrestleMania Taker match or any match with? No, a, just WrestleMania okay. Taker match. The against the streak. Oh, okay. That's wait, almost wait, like a title match. Big Boss Man versus Undertaker WrestleMania. Look at that. Yeah. Uh, what else? Match. But um. Uh, there was other shitty matches with him. Um, what's his name? Giant Gonzalez. Yeah, but that United. was that was when he was like. They didn't know about the streak then. Like, the sh- what the streak has become now is that it's, like, this big deal. Like, people are like, oh, who's going to face The Undertaker next? Who's next to, like, be number 21, 22, so on and so on. So, but yeah. So you don't think CM Punk's being selfish by just rage quitting? Like, if he did rage quit, and this know. isn't kayfabe, you don't think, like, you think... I, I don't think this so it is, because, like, this guy has worked hard for, like, the past two years and like hasn't been champion in quite a while yep. of course he would rage quit he's he doesn't like the product that much he even says it in his in his shoots half the time it's true it's he's true. not afraid to say what it is yep yep all right well i think we're in that's agreement on this say. so that's a little bit of the news of cm punk quitting let's hope we hear more in the next 
for 24 to 48 hours because rumor says that's when the Fed is going to make an announcement about it. So, be interesting to see what they have to say. So, everyone should uh, definitely watch on Sunday when we start making this a weekly show where we'll be talking about the week that is. And right now, we're going to be focusing mainly on the WWE due to it's WrestleMania season. TNA being shit. And, 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 and that, that, but, you know, who knows? Maybe we'll get to talk about TNA after. Or maybe you want us to talk about TNA. Leave a comment below on what you think we need to add to this series. But uh, this was just a short little CM Punk segment because, I mean, that's big news. We need to talk about it. So, I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take it easy, guys. All right. Here we go. It's Electronic inspiration. Give me that realization.